Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at some of our stories tonight. A 41-year-old Mount Morris man will spend the rest of his life in prison after killing his 16-month-old son. Michael Butler was sentenced today and will not have the possibility of parole. His son's body, Chaos DeMillo, was found in a ditch in August of 2022. Investigators believe the boy was dead for several weeks before his body was found. He had skull fractures and drugs in his system. People can get fancy like this spring as part of the Memorial Cup. The Canadian Hockey League announced today country star Walker Hayes will be the headliner. He's scheduled to perform at the Jolt Credit Union Event Park on June 1st. Tickets go on sale to the public through Ticketmaster this Friday at 10. And a pre-sale is being offered to those who already bought full tournament ticket packages or two game packages. They'll be allowed to buy tickets on Wednesday. A cash reward for an acute Accused child predator. Crime Stoppers is offering up to $1,000 to find this man, Xavier Allen Hindman. The 20 year old is accused of first degree criminal sexual conduct with a person under the age of 13. Hindman is 5 foot 4, about 127 pounds, and believed to be in the Flint area. If you have any information on his whereabouts, call Crime Stoppers at 1 800 422 jail. And now here's Chris with your first alert forecast. Meg, temperatures tonight are expected to drop down into the 20s and then eventually tomorrow. Tomorrow it is back up to the 40s, we'll likely only stay there for one day. However, as a cooler air mass gets set to move in behind yet another system tomorrow, that system is off to our northwest tonight, bringing some snow showers to portions of Minnesota, Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula. For us, it will arrive sometime tomorrow morning, likely bringing the best chance for snow showers east of I-75. Areas to the west will have a smaller chance and uh, certainly not out of the question. You see a passing shower, but I think the most consistent activity is east of the highway. As we take a look at the afternoon, things quiet down quite a bit. I think there may be some lake effect snow showers that pick up in Roscom and Ogaba and Iosco counties a little bit closer to that Lake Michigan influence. But overall, I think the second half of the day looks a little bit better. Once we get into Wednesday night, I think you'll likely see some showers redevelop as our winds turn northwesterly. These will likely be around at times on Wednesday, not a consistent snow, but enough to be present. And then we'll get a dry day on Thursday. We are keeping tabs on Friday. A first alert weather day is possible for accumulating snow, not necessarily the amount, but there is the potential that it could impact the morning commute on Friday. But because the timing is still fluctuating, we're not ready to pull the trigger on an alert day just yet, but we do want to highlight that day as a day that you may want to stay updated with. Hour by hour as we go into Monday night, or excuse me, uh, Thursday night and also into Friday, there's a look at that system coming in later this week. Right now it seems like it's mostly a first half of the day type of event eventually quieting down into the evening, but there's still a lot of uh, moving around going on. So uh, stay tuned on that. As far as the weekend forecast, a chance for a few flurries Saturday, nighttime snow showers on Sunday night, and then another system comes in on Monday. That one could have snow and mix as well as a bit of rain. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.